so I'm not going to go far, this is a very quick one. Late from work um, and a lot to do tomorrow, so I need to get back quite sharp. But anyway, so it's really just a wee excuse to get away from all the kerfuffle and the uh, country's chaos that's going on just now, which is only going to get worse to be honest. hate to be a prophet of doom, but it's not looking good. So I thought this might just be a wee tonic for the night. I'm sure a lot of my Scottish viewers will recognise this area. That's one of the camping areas in the West Highland Way. And then round to your right, another nice wee area in there as well. But I'm going to head on a wee bit further just to try and get a view tonight. Although I think it will be pretty windy and cold. I see they've got a new sign for the season. With a lot more warnings about the camp camping zone and whatnot and restrictions but as you can see we're okay here that should be a site soon somewhere up here a couple of you visitors This could be an okay spot, I think. Kind of well drained, slight slope on it, so I can just sleep uphill. Not a bad view. I can see Conic Hill down to Loch Lomond and back over towards the uh, south end of Loch Lomond and Strathblane. Right, just gotta feed these poles in, which can be a wee bit of an awkward one. But I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah, it can be a wee bit of a pig to set up, so I've just got the guy lines to do now. The vehicle's a bit of a faff inside, but I will get quicker at it. That is us now pitched correctly, touch wood. And time to decant everything and get comfortable. I hope I've got a decent lie. Set my head up this end tonight. Uh, that doesn't look too bad actually. I'm quite well drained. So we'll see how much room this thing's got in it. A couple of pockets at either end to store stuff, which is good. Just throw all your when you're one up, you've got plenty of room for gear. I'm using meths for the first time in a while. You can see the difference in the heat and the combustion. A lot, lot hotter than the biofuel. So there's some soil just over the base of the tree, just over the tree trunk over here. I think I might have a fire in there if I'm lucky, without causing any marking. Um, I'll dig out the soil a wee bit just to make sure. I'm just waiting on my soup, first course. Chicken soup, it's about quarter to seven I think. Uh, yeah, nice and comfortable in the tent at the moment. There is a bit of a wind out there, but you don't really feel it, even with the door open at the moment. But I think I'll need it later. Possibly going to rain or snow. Well, it's pretty chilly out there, so I've moved inside and I'm on the whiskey and the crisps. And just chilling out, listening to some music. It's quite pleasant. I've got a fire log with me, which I was thinking of putting on, but the windy out there, so... Sorry, it is windy out there, so I'm not sure whether to put it on and sit out there or whether just to forget it for tonight. Seven. 
time to get up. The tent's damp on the surfaces, but not bad. The venting generally has worked. So, anyway, time to get dressed and get on the road. More of a bivvy than a camp. Okay, left no trace, fire's gone, everything's tidied up, just a wee bit muddy where I've been, but other than that it looks okay, so it's time to go. So that was a very short and sweet overnight, almost a bivvy rather than a camp, and uh, it's not even 8 o'clock this morning, but I need to get back, do some work stuff, and uh, deal with parents, and the old C word. So anyway, um, thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed this wee quickie, and I'll see you for the next one.